looks like we can finally talk spoilers about Stranger Things Season 3, so let's talk spoilers about Stranger Things Season 3. Happy 4th of July! Now this is a video where I'm just gonna like break down my thoughts on the ending, you know, where I think this could go to season four. Now, I've seen a lot of people say this, Hopper's alive. And I like expect that to be true. I really don't think that they would just kill off a main character like that. It, it was such a dumb way to kill off a main character. But Hopper, I think, sacrificed himself for L. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that that's how it worked. Like, the monster was about to kill all of them because they had run out of fireworks. Uh, and so, of course, the monster would obviously have to kill L as well. So Hopper said, you know what, Joyce, just do it. Just close the gate. Do it. And, like, they had no choice. Otherwise, their kids would die. So they, like, had to close it as soon as possible. And Hopper, I think, gave the ultimate sacrifice. So I think everyone's just like, oh, he's just standing there. He could have just ran up. No, because then the Mind Flayer would have killed, like, everyone. He killed Billy. Billy was the only one that, like, held him back from, like, getting to Eleven. He would have killed Billy. I think he would have gone ahead and killed Eleven. So, like, I think Hopper made the ultimate sacrifice. And I think it was for a very, very good reason. I think Hopper should be very commended. I really, really want him, however... To stay dead. Like. I don't want Stranger Things to be that show where it's just like. Oh look at this. This person died. Oh wait. He came back alive. Oh wait. This is an Earth 2 equivalent of you. Oh wait. Oh, suck it. Oh wait. Oh wait. So, like, and then it like gets so confusing. It's just like. You watch season one. And it's just like. Okay, no one would have expected it going like this, like some person dies and, and like they come back to life. No, I really think that he should die. But, uh, I'm sorry, but I really think that he should stay dead. I know they're probably not going to make him stay dead, but like, please, please, I don't want Stranger Things to be that sure. I really want Billy to stay dead. I mean, in season two, he's practically, practically worthless, useless, he took him out of the plot, he was just, he just made all the episodes just longer, and then in season three, he's kind of like this, this bad guy, like this stereotypical bad guy, who's like, I'm a bad guy, I want to kill you, now I have to say, uh, the acting from Dark, Dark Ray Montgomery was absolutely fantastic. I have to commend this guy for doing some amazing, amazing acting. Um, I think it's like a, a New Zealand actor, Australian actor or something. Yeah, but he did a very, very, very good job. I think him and Millie Bobby Brown did like the best acting this whole season. And it's especially what Billy was given with. But now I feel like his arc is over. He used to be that, in season two, he used to be that guy who was so, like, he was, he was, he thought he was trying to protect Max by, like, distancing her away from what she wanted to do. Uh, and so, in this season, he's kind of like this crazy guy that's done things and, like, he can't forgive himself and he realizes what, like, a douchebag he's been. So, like, yeah, I think his arc works perfectly that way. Like, he realizes what a douchebag he is, so he saves L. And he sacrifices himself, makes the ultimate sacrifice, you know, like Hopper. And I think that was done really well. Let's bring him back to life! And, like, no, 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 no. It's like in Avengers Infinity War, when you kill everybody off, that scene is just like, oh my gosh, you actually did, oh wait, everyone's just gonna come back once you see who dusts. Just like... Oh, they all dust. All these people dust. Wait, they have solar movies. They're going to come back. Like, it's so obvious. And yeah, it's really, really obvious that they're going to come back. I don't want it to be like that. I don't want it to be like 
ev from every now on, it's just like when a hopper comes back, or like Billy comes back, or like someone dies and then they come back, you know, and then when someone actually dies, like legit dies and doesn't come back, you don't feel any emotional punch at all, because you're just thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to come back, like, duh. So, I, I, I don't want it to be like the MCU is like, Colson died. Oh, wait, he's back. This person died. Oh, wait, she's back. You know, I don't want it to be that way. So, like, I'm just going to say Hopper and Billy should now stay dead. So, should Bob and Bob and that really sweet Russian guy, I can't remember, Alexi, Alexi Smirnoff should stay dead. And um, the Betty Hammond, the guy from the start, and that professor, the first ever cast member we saw, that professor who was just running around the lab, he should stay dead. And, like, everyone should, like, stay dead because I really, 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 really don't want people just coming back to life and making stranger things just a sucky show. I mean, if you get the upside down evil version or something like that, like, that, that also doesn't work. I've seen some people say... That Hopper is going to be like the new 12. Which is just like... No, 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 no. Hopper becoming like this this 12 with powers that all the other, like what, like all the other experiments have. So like, hi, I am a lab experiment and I am 12. I'm Hopper. No, I liked Hopper being the father figure or the person who was just like trying to get a date or like the crazy guy with PTSD who nearly shoots someone else's dog because he thought it was one of those things. Like... I prefer that Hopper, not, I'm gonna rule the world, <sighs> you know, not like that Hopper, so, anyways, that's just like my spoiler thoughts on uh, Stranger Things 3, I didn't think it was particularly good, especially episodes uh, 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, I thought those episodes were particularly compelling, the rest are just like these little setup episodes that were just like, they were there to push the plot forward, but they weren't like, good, like, number one, it had, like, the introduction, you know, had the cool jokes about the heart-to-heart. -heart. Number four, it had the big sort of test, which was epic, because, again, of, um, Dark Race acting. Uh, episode six had the, yeah, the, the looking, like, all the Billy flashbacks, and that, again, worked because of Dark Race acting. And then you get, uh, episode seven, which was... That, that one, was, that just made me laugh, cry for Alexi, smeared off, you know, all those episodes, it was very fast paced, very kept on going, and it didn't feel like it was like this media blur thing, it like, it, it just kept on going, and it really worked, and then episode 8, my gosh, episode 8 is the best episode in the entire series, hands down, thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you in another video.